Заходь! Заходь! Украина's slow, methodical and effective counteroffensive is accomplishing what it needs to. Bleed Russian forces across the more than 600 miles of front line. But critics in the West are growing uneasy about how long this death by a thousand cuts approach is taking. Ukraine is responding to those critics essentially saying if you want this war over quicker, give us the weapons needed to make it happen. There's no doubt Ukraine would not exist today without help from its Western allies. HIMARS from the US and Storm Shadow missiles from the UK are now a part of the pop culture in Ukraine with the latter even getting its own National Geographic-styled mockumentary. From its metallic womb, our mechanical bird of prey takes flight, thrust into the boundless azure, embarking on a voyage that spans 300 kilometers. Kyiv had hoped Britain and France sending the long-range Storm Shadow and Scalp missiles would spur Germany and the United States to send their own respective long-range missile systems. Ukraine is reportedly in talks with Germany to get Taurus missiles. They're very similar to Storm Shadows, and they're even made by the same company. Taurus missiles are also air-launched, but they have a longer range and pack a different sort of punch. Taurus missiles are accurate up to at least 300 miles. They have dual-stage warheads, allowing them to penetrate deeper before detonation. The Taurus boasts the world's first programmable fuse, allowing users to decide when to detonate the warhead's second stage. Taurus missiles are better suited to strike bridges and bunkers and would let Ukraine save its storm shadows for less hardened targets like warehouses and storage depots. The German defense minister, Boris Pistorius, said as recently as August 3rd, there were no plans to send Ukraine Taurus missiles. But on August 7th, a member of Ukraine's parliament posted on his Facebook that the German parliament had in fact come to a consensus and would send Ukraine the missiles. Pistorius said sending Ukraine Taurus missiles is not a priority, and he pointed out the Americans also have not sent the army tactical missile system to Ukraine. He was quickly criticized for his comments about long-range weapons not being a priority, but he's not wrong about the U.S. dragging its feet on attackums. Ukraine has been asking for them for more than a year. They have a longer range than Storm Shadows, but shorter than the Taurus. However, unlike those other missiles, attackums don't need to be launched from a plane. Ukraine can use HIMARS instead. Russian air defenses are keeping Ukraine's air force away from the front lines, which limits the effectiveness of air-launched missiles. With ground-launched attackums added to the mix, Ukraine says its armed forces would truly have enough strike capability to put all of Crimea within range. But supplying Ukraine those weapons would also bring parts of Russia into range, which is why, at least for now, the U.S. and Germany are saying no to the long-range missile systems. For more unbiased, straight-fact reporting about weapons systems and the war in Ukraine, head over to san.com.